Welcome to another video of Canoe Diva. This time I'd like to show you how to work with a, an ECU that is of uh, bad quality because it's in early in an early development stage. So it, it could happen then if you first uh, look at the test report and you see something like that. So there were, is a huge number of test cases that is simply red. So um, the first thing that you need to do now is to just to go into the report and find so the, the, the huge errors or those kind of errors that that reflect in all or that you can see in all of the test cases. So maybe you simply start like that. You go into a test uh, case. Uh, you see uh, all of them somehow are failed. So you check the first one and you see ah, uh, there's the response too late. There's some, and then you go to the second one. Seems to be the same issue, and then you maybe so, um, realize very soon that there are a lot of issues regarding uh, the timing. Um, so what you can do now is you can switch to the result view, and that could also be a view to start and uh, go to the f all the fails, and there you see uh, one one uh, item here responds too late. And um, you have a lot of issues in, in this um, um, test group here. So what you can do now is that you simply, if you're not interested in the timing issues, uh, you can um, hide all of them. And this means you do not see the timing issues in your overviews anymore. So that means all the tests that you see in here only contain those ca test cases that have additional errors for example, um, in addition to the um, to the timing issues. So in here, you see that that a number of test cases in here has reduced, and that means yes, there is the timing issue in here, but there are also other issues in that in that test case. So timing might be one issue, uh, which is very global. Another thing could be that you have a session security or authentication related uh, issues that s somehow can be found in all of the test cases. You might check those if you have those kind of issues for example in the in the service view so to and you go in here and check those services that are uh, session security or maybe authentication related. So here you see, okay, we have already filtered the timing issues, but that safety session start still has a lot of uh, issues here. So we can can go in here, and uh, then we see, okay, um, when we go, when we dive into the test case, we see ah, uh, this uh, service request is not responded, so sub function is not re um, uh, supported here. Um, go to next one. Maybe we have the same issue. So it seems to be that this service is not uh, implemented at all. So, or at least it does not work. So another uh, step could be, if you still want to uh, continue to work with that report that you have here, that you also filter um, those results. So now we have reduced uh, the, all the, all what we see in the report is now reduced by by the timing issues and also by that uh, not working service. It also could be that uh, the ECU crashes to, uh, somehow uh, sometime during the test. So this is also something that you would see in the result view. We don't have that issue here, but if that would be the case, then you would have an entry here with uh, saying no response from ECU. And uh, this indicates, uh, so this allows you to maybe filter all those test cases that are maybe uh, wrong because of follow-up issues because the issue simply did not work anymore. Okay, so this is if you want to work with the report and you don't want to give up the results, but of course you want to get better results uh, uh, with the next test run. So what, you can, what can you do with those kind of errors? When we switch to the test configuration, um, you can first go so f uh, to uh, ECU node, communication ECU node. If you face uh, crashes from time to time during the test run, you can, for example, re uh, select that option to react on potential ECU crashes. 
you can configure what you want to do and also when a diva should uh, perform those measures. So for example, to reset the ECU automatically, if, it, if the ECU did not respond 10 times in a row of, or if it sends endlessly response pendings. So all those, those two issues can affect uh, follow-up tests. Um, so you can select the action that should be done here. This, by the way, can be configured in system conditions. So you can also use other, other uh, actions here. Uh, they can be freely chosen under system conditions, which you find in the project configuration. So another thing you could do here is that you go into test timings and simply add some tolerance timings. Um, so you can, can add a general tolerance time, maybe 20 milliseconds, for example, or also um, tolerance timings or additional timings for specific services like the ECU reset. So, this takes into account how long the issue takes to uh, start up again. So maybe like that. So if it takes half a second for the issue to reboot, uh, you can select that, uh, configure that option here. Okay, so and then uh, you simply, uh, uh, you may restart the test now. Another thing, maybe if, you, if you're, for example, working in a test house and you do not really know the issue, uh, at all, it might be a good idea um, at the start to just run the good case test to get a first impression of the quality of the issue. And uh, so this may might make things, things easier from the start if, like, if you're a test engineer and you're not the developer uh, of the issue. Another thing is, so we had that service uh, uh, 10.4, so the safety se session service, we did not, which did not work at all. We have seen that in a test report. So what you can do is in the service view to simply deactivate those kind of services um, that, that do not work with your current ECU or also those kind of services that uh, result in a crash when, it, when they are uh, requested. So by simply deselecting them, uh, in here, uh, you should be perfectly fine to generate another test. Thank you for watching. I hope you find that useful. Hopefully you will get better test results the next test run. Uh, bye. See you next time.